Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's Drew Tube. You already know I'm back at you again with another video. Shout out to the Galactic Family. Salute to Drew Nation. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. I need each and every Chosen Vessel light being star seed. Each and every Drew Nation member to press that like button, press that share button, and don't forget to subscribe because you already know we about to get right into this. Don't let those haters test your cool. Stay calm and let them destroy themselves with their own energy. Don't let haters test your cool. It's going to be a lot of people that are trying to get you out of your rightful place. All right. They don't like seeing you in your high place. They don't like seeing you in the position that you're in. All right. They hate it. Matter of fact. And what some people will do is they'll try to talk you or they'll try to get you to act out of character so that way you can get kicked out of your spot that you're in because they ain't never want to see you in, in that position in the first place. These are the types of people that will smile in your face. These are the types of people. These are the types of people that smile in your face. These are the types of people that try to be your buddy. All right, you don't know them from a can of paint. Here they come smiling in your face, acting all friendly, trying to do things for you. Yeah, I'll do that for you. I'll do this for you. I'll get to this for you. I'll get to that for you. These are the fakest people, all right? Real people don't act like that. Real people don't have to force themselves on others, all right? Real people, they just let things happen gradually and they let things happen normally. I'm not, I don't have to force nothing. I don't have to force no friendships on nobody because I'm not fake, all right? When people come up to you like the nicest person in the world, when people come up to you smiling on your face, yeah, excuse me, um, when people come up to you smiling all in your face, you know, um, it's usually because they have a hidden motive. They have a hidden agenda, right? And they got a, a hidden problem with you too. And that problem is you're better than them and they're insecure and they're jealous, right? And they're narcissistic. So the first time you don't do something that they want you to do, the first time you don't kiss their butt, the first time you don't worship them, you know, they're going to have a problem with it. And that's their problem. Don't get upset because somebody is mad over something you ain't do for them. Don't get upset over somebody being mad. They got a problem with you. Somebody got a problem with you. That's their problem. If somebody has a problem with you, that's not your problem. So don't make it your problem. People have negative energy. People are haters. People are jealous of you. They feel negatively towards you because they feel in their mind you're doing better than them. And they feel that you have some type of advantage in life. It's called being chosen and it's called God's favor on your life. So technically you do have certain advantages, but it's really no different than anybody else. You really have pretty much the same, if not a lesser advantage than other people. Because you have people out here, like the people we're discussing in this video, that see your greatness, that see that you have a certain level of success you're about to obtain or already have achieved, and they don't like it. All right? So these are going to be the people who try to come into your life and try to control you. And they're going to try to be your friend at first. They're going to try to come into your life and bearing gifts. All right? They're going to love bomb you. They're going to have all these promises talking about how they'll do this and talking about how they'll do that, right? And then when when you don't agree with them or you guys have a difference of opinion or you, you they feel that they have some type of power or control over you and you don't feed into it, they're going to have beef with you. They're going to have some problems with you. They're going to have an issue with you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have an issue with you. They're going to have a problem with you because you're not doing excuse the noise because you're not doing what they feel you should be doing these people feel that they're above you they feel that you're beneath them and because they have their position because of what they know or because how long they've been someplace or because their authority or because of their um because of what they may have over you as far as experience or title they feel that they could just treat you like shit. They feel that they could treat you like nothing. And once you don't, once you don't allow that to happen, once you stand up for yourself, right, people are going to get upset. 
So I just want to let you know that you don't have anything to prove to these crackheads. You don't have anything to prove to these losers. You don't have anything to prove to people who hate you and who are jealous of you for no reason. All right. People who hate you and who are jealous of you for no reason, they're just going to have to deal with that. And they're just going to have to get a life sooner or later. Everybody has to get a life sooner or later. You have to come to the realization or to the point that it's like, yo, you just got to get a life. I'm not pleasing you. I'm not appeasing you. I'm not doing anything that you want me to do just so you can feel good about yourself. I'm not going to change who I am or how I do things to suit your needs or to fit you and your attitude. People are going to have attitudes all the time. All right? People have attitudes all the time. You don't let people walk all over you just because they got an attitude, just because somebody's mad. Screw them in their attitude. All right? A lot of people are just all this, all talk, uh, uh, all bark, no bite. So people will try to ruffle your feathers. People will try to create issues for you. They'll try to be very optimistic. They'll try to make it seem like your life is over because you don't cross them. And you're supposed to, like, all you did was stand up for yourself. All you did was do what's right. They think because of who they are and with their disease of narcissism and with their uh, with their swayed with their swayed views and their uh, their crazy mind, they think they think that everybody is just supposed to do everything that they tell them to. They feel that, oh, I'm this big, bad person. You're just supposed to lay down and do what I tell you to do because I said so. But when, when they realize it doesn't work like that, that's called a reality check. That's called bruising somebody's ego. That's called deflating somebody's ego. If somebody has a problem with you because you're not doing something that they feel should be done or you're not treating them like they feel they need to be treated or you're not giving them the respect they feel they deserve and you're, and you're a good person and you know that you treat people with respect, it's probably because that person doesn't deserve none. People who don't deserve respect will always try to come at you and try to get respect. And they think they get cool points for, they think they get cool points for trying to act tough. All right. Anybody could act tough. It's just an act. Anybody could act tough. Anybody could beat on their chest, bang on the wall. Anybody could do that retard shit. But when, when, when people actually step to you and things become physical, that's different. If somebody's not getting physical with you, don't let these people get you upset. All right, they're, all they're doing is putting on a show. Bravo, put on a show. Next time they put on a show, just laugh at them straight up. All right, when you have a problem with somebody and they're the one that's mad and you're not, smile at them. Don't get into no, don't get into no, that's, that's, I don't know what that is. You're going to stare at me. You just, you, we just going to be exchanging evil looks back and forth. Like, I ain't into that, you know? It's all, it's all about that action or it's all about satisfaction. So if it ain't about action or if it ain't about satisfaction, don't even worry about it because it's not even, all, all you're doing is adding more fuel to the fire and all you're doing is stressing yourself out and drawing more attention to yourself. Let that person who's the idiot draw all the attention to themselves because they're an idiot. If people want to be stupid, if people want to be stupid and, and cause problems for themselves, don't let them, don't let them, don't let the problem that they're causing for themselves bring you into it, right? This, the people are already problematic. People already got issues. They already got mental disorders. They already crazy. And I ain't talking about crazy like, oh, he's crazy. Stay away from him. Like, no, man, he's man, man. Yo, look, people will try you. People will try you and be afraid of you at the same time. Because as soon as as soon as you go buck wild, I'm telling you, they're going to retreat and call the police. It's nothing you have to worry about. You have nothing to prove to the likes of them. You don't owe them anything. You don't have to prove them anything. They're not on your type of time. All right. These people have given up on life. Right. These people are are have given up on life. They feel that their life is over. They feel that all they have is their car or their house or their position or their place to stay. They don't have anything else, right? So what they want to do is they want to take that out on you because you're chilling, you're minding your business, you're not worried about them. There, people are used like people are used to getting certain levels of attention, especially from certain types of people. And if they feel that a type of person is weaker than them or they feel that this type of person owes them something and they want to press you if that's what they feel if that's what they feel the need to do they're going to do that 
a lot of these narcs have more balls than brains. A lot of these narcissistic people have more balls than brains. They pick fights with people who they think they could beat until the person they think they could beat opens a can of whoop ass on them, you know? So it's like, that's why you just don't engage with these people. You don't have anything to prove. You already know, you already know what type of person you are. People can act however they want. People can act, people can act, people can act. People are putting on a show. Don't let these people and their antics drag you out of your spot. All right, don't let these people and their the, uh, their illusion of inclusion because they're trying to be included in your life by any means necessary, whether it's positive or whether it's negative. They want to be a part of your life. They don't care if they're the antagonist. They don't care if they're the joker. They just want a spot in your show. They want uh, they, they, they're trying to audition. Right. You ever seen somebody trying to audition for a show? They're like me, me, pick me. I want to be a part of the show. That's how people feel about your life. Whether they have to gain entrance being a, um, a, a Judas or whether they got to gain entrance being Peter, you know. So it is what it is. All right. People are going to be jealous of you. You know, you got a lot going on. You know, you're rich. You know, you're successful. You know, you're prosperous. All right. These demons are starting to, to not care and they're starting to not want to hide anymore. So since things are, are amping up, all right, 2012 already happened. You know, a certain energy is being released and um, the, we're, we're getting more closer to this thing each and every day. It's, come, it's becoming more real each and every day. You're starting to see people turn on you. You're starting to see people's horns pop up. You're starting to see people shape shift. Don't be afraid. All right. You have nothing to fear because God is always with you and God is protecting you. You know, this is spiritual. So you don't get emotional about a lot of things anymore because you know it ain't nothing but the devil. It ain't nothing to get emotional about when you know this person is being possessed and controlled. And then if it, if it goes further than just talking or if it goes further than just an altercation, you already know that you're protected and you already know that the power of God in you, we ain't even got to discuss it. But anyway, don't let people get you mad. Don't let people frustrate you, all right? Don't let haters test your cool. They're trying to test you. They're trying to see if you're a punk. I don't know who does that in a, 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 a setting to where something called for that, but there are people who bring certain types of attitudes and certain types of ways of life and certain types of attitudes and ways of being into places that, that where that particular attitude is uncalled for, right? There's something that... There's, there's, there's a place and a time for everything. So when people are acting out of place and when people are acting out of the right time for that specific behavior, all you got to do, all you got to do is be aware. All you got to do is stay focused, right? Don't let these people, don't let anybody trick you out your money. Don't let anybody trick you out your bag. These people won't be mad as hell when they got to come back and see your face again tomorrow. All right. People want to cause problems for you because it's deeper than that. It's deeper than you not doing what someone said. It's deeper than somebody feeling some type of way towards you because you told them no or you didn't do what they asked or something didn't happen right. It's deeper than that. That's an excuse. These people have a deep seated hatred and they were looking for any opportunity to throw hate and shade your way. So now when people act like this, when you're unbothered, they're going to try to turn everybody against you. If you didn't know, now you know. They're going to try to turn everybody against you, but luckily for you, God is on your side. So it doesn't matter who turns against you. It doesn't matter who tries to stop you because if God be for you, who could be against you? So don't allow these people to make you fail the test. All right, you want to pass the test with flying colors by just keeping your cool, staying focused on the good things that you want in your life. When you focus on particular people and when you when you continue to think about the thing they did or what they said or what might happen, that's that's downward spiraling. That's creating a negative reality for you when you could continue to create a positive reality for you. You know, the devil's using these particular people. So now that you're aware, you know, it's not somebody just being annoying. You know, it's not somebody just trying you. 
It's the devil using people to test your cool. It's the devil using people to test your level of growth. All right, you're supposed to be growing. You're supposed to be moving forward. And the devil is like, yo, God, let's use this situation. Let's see if they're actually putting all the things you said to, to the test. Let's see if they're actually using all the coping skills and mechanisms that they're learning. Let's, let's see if this person is actually growing for real. All right, so one, when you see that anger in that person, it's half them and it's half the devil being mad because he couldn't get to you or affect you using that person. The devil mad as hell, he can't get to some of y'all. All right, the devil is upset and frustrated because y'all aren't uh, foolish enough anymore to give these people any amount of energy to where you feel you need to um, explode or react. You're not giving them any more reactions because you realize that they ain't worth it. They ain't worth the they ain't worth the uh, dog poop you step over when you walk in somewhere and you see someone on the side of the road. They're not worth much. These people hate themselves. Don't let haters drag you in to their self-hate, right? People got problems with you. That's their problem. People don't like you. That's their problem. People got an attitude towards you. That's their problem. Whether you did what they wanted you to do or not, they had a problem with you anyway. They were just hiding it and holding it in. It's better to keep it real so that way you can see how people feel against you. Be like, okay, I knew this person was a hater the whole time. So the message of this video is, is really to trust your intuition. Okay, big man coming through, all right? The main message of this video is to trust your intuition because a lot of you guys, even myself included, we second guess ourselves because there's so many instances where we go through these particular situations, but don't second guess yourself because people are like that, you know, and you're a good person. So you're not primarily like that. You're not like that. You don't go out to seek and kill and destroy other people. So it's hard to believe that. Wow. It's so many. It's so many evil, twisted, negative people out here like that but it is. So you just have to remember to stay cautious and be smart. All right. It's chess, not checkers. Play the game to win. You don't have anything to prove to people who have everything to lose. You had, they have everything to lose. So they have everything to prove you. On the other hand, you don't have nothing to lose. So you don't have nothing to prove. People will try to gaslight you. People will try to act like they're um, coming coming at you personally like oh you're this you're that you're a b you're weak you're this you're that okay whatever i still got this i still got my money i still got uh this i still got that i'm still getting paid so don't allow people to try to uh get you out of uh, the good that you just asked god for right you just got blessed so people are going to have an attitude towards you and the fact that you got blessed. People are gonna have an attitude towards you and the fact that you're starting to turn up, you're starting to feel good about your life, good things are starting to happen to you and for you, and because good things are starting to happen to you and for you, it's people that don't like that, all right? Not everybody wanna see somebody shine. Not everybody wanna see somebody win. And when you start to win, people got a problem with that. It's like, yo, uh, 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 before good things were happening to you, Nobody really paid no mind to you. Nobody even paid any attention to you. People were like, yo, I ain't even worried about this person. I don't even care about this person. But as soon as you started to just focus on yourself, ignore people, and real, and you started to see how the game was being played, you was like, yo, screw this. All I got to do is just focus on myself. Noise pollution, noise pollution, noise pollution, noise campaign, noise campaign, noise campaign. They be hating on the real ones, yo, I'm telling you. But it's all it's all about forward progression. You got to keep moving. You got to make some things happen so that way your life does not stay the same. You don't want to keep losing out and missing out because of negative people who don't want to see you win in life. All right? It's just like you th it's, it's just like a game, really, y'all, because you'll have people competing with you and playing against you like it's a whole football or basketball game and you don't even know. So it's like, unless you're aware that people are competing against you and fighting against you, you're not even gonna be aware of what to look out for. So when people are real nice, when people that you, when people are real nice and you just met them, when people are real nice to you, you don't know them, 
They're trying to do things for you. They're trying to be your friend. They're smiling in your face like they're your brother or your sister or something. Mm -hmm. And you don't know this person from a can of paint. You got to watch out for that, right? When you, when you see people that are gang stalking you, when you see people that are following you, when you see people that are low key harassing you, don't ignore that. You did see that. That person is evil. That person is trying you. That person is trying to get underneath your skin. That person is a hater. That person wants you to pay more attention to them than you do your own self. And because you won't give them the validation that their soul requires because they're a demon. It's a certain amount of energy that demons require. And when they don't get it, they go narcissistic, they go narcissistic gang stalking on you. So because you haven't given in, because you've uh, taken the position of being better than your enemies, which you already are, they pissed off about it because it's like you were supposed to please them. You were supposed to people please them. You were supposed to treat them like they feel they're supposed to be treated by a person like you. You, they, they see you fighting off your I don't give a crap about you. They see you fighting off not giving them the particular energy that they require. They see these things, right? Because most people just give in and kiss their butt. Most people just give in and do what they want them to do. But the fact that you won't, they got a problem with it. The fact that they can't, um, they can't easily get to you, they have a problem with it. So people, it's, it's a never ending game. But when, once you learn how the game is played, even a little bit, you learn how to you learn how to play to win. And that's what it's all about. It's about playing to win. Losers lose, winners win, right? So the fact that these losers are in a winning position, you might think that, oh, this person got this, this person got that, this person's cool, they smiling, they talk to me. No, homie, that person could still be jealous of you. That person could still be a hater. That person could still not want to see you make it. And it's all because you're better than them and they don't like it. You're not giving in to the pressure of bowing down to them because you know you feel the pressure. You know you feel the pressure around certain people when they think they're better than you and they're trying to, to uh, manipulate you into feeding into their ego. You know you feel that. But the fact that you don't act off that energy, the fact that that energy don't put fear in you no more, the fact that you're not, Ooh, I'm going to do what this person said, the fact that you're not acting like that anymore, people are going to have a problem with you. And it's just the way it is. It's not your fault. You're just going to have to deal with it. And so are they. You're going to have to get comfortable with people being uncomfortable. All right. Until somebody puts hands on you, you ain't got nothing to worry about. All the screaming, yelling, shouting, slamming, banging. All that doesn't mean anything. All that is worthless. It's meaningless unless somebody put their hands on you. When somebody puts their hands on you, that's a whole nother story. And we don't even want none of that. We pray against anybody. We pray against any altercations physically. We don't want no fights. We don't want to get into no, no issues. We don't want no, I don't want no trouble. Me no want no trouble. I don't, I don't want any trouble. Okay. In my, in my ancient Chinese martial art voice, we don't want any trouble. So it's like, bro, I'm peaceful. You see that. The only reason they come at you so hard is because you're so chill. They don't think that somebody so chill can get so real. All right. They, they haven't seen a chill person get real until they tried to bother a chosen one. They just don't know. All right. They just don't know what type of, 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 of check they're writing. They're uncashable. Uncashable. And it's just like, bro, I'm chill. Why you got why you got to pick on me? Why you got to bother me? I'm chilling. You know, people want to get rowdy. People want to get rough with you because you're laid back. You're super cool. You're super chill. The girls like you. And because of that, they think they could they think they could uh, manipulate you. They think they could pull one over on you. They think they could uh, they think they could. Um, what's the word? They think they could bully you, pick on you. All these lame things that everybody that that's got a mind left behind in high school, you know. And if you if you feel just because uh, the way someone looks or someone's particular style, if you feel that you can treat them any type of way, you're in for a rude awakening. Some people are really stuck in high school. This is not high school. This is the real world. This is life. A appearances are deceiving. Looks are deceiving. Somebody could look a whole different way and you don't know what they're into. You don't know what they're into. You don't know what they're about. You don't know what they got going on with their life. So it's best to just leave people alone. It's best to just leave people alone. Why bother somebody? Why start trouble with somebody? And the thing is, in their mind, when you don't obey them, they feel that you're the one starting with them. When, when you don't answer them or you don't do what they say or you don't appeal to them and their needs and their narcissistic ideology, 
they feel that you did them some type of wrong. They feel that you're against them or you disobeyed them or, or, or you're being confrontational just by not doing what they feel that you're supposed to do. It's all, they, they are power tripping over you, empath, uh, light being, star seed, chosen one, divine one. They're tripping over you, all right? They're tripping over you and they want to control you because they they see that you're a good person and because you're a good person, because you got good energy, because you're wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove by choice, right? Because we got to obey God. That's how we get blessed. That's how we be. That's how we stay too blessed to be stressed out here. All right. That's how we get protected. Like if, if I wasn't going over Bible verses, if I wasn't, um, the, the new Drew that I am today, even the slightest bit, right? If I if I didn't even make no changes at all, I, I, I would have got tricked out my position. But you can't let people trick you out your position. Because when, when you've been, when, when you have had that happen to you already so many times, it's like, yo, I see how the game is played. I'm not going to let people play me or play the game on me like that no more. As Les Brown said, and I think he got this quote from somebody else from somebody's speech. I'm not going to let people pull my strings anymore. And they may, they may try. You may get upset. You may get angry, but don't let people, don't let people, um, don't let people fool you into giving up your blessing. Don't let people fool you into giving up that blessing. A week ago, you needed this. Two weeks ago, you was waiting for it. Three weeks ago, you couldn't wait till it happened. Don't let nobody try you, all right? Don't let them, they can test your cool all they want. They're going to fail that test. All right, you're so cool, that you're so cool, you're ice cold. You need to be ice cold to these people, all right? You need to not be affected by what they're trying to do. You know they're trying to get you to react. You know they're trying to, to get you upset. You know they're trying to get you to look like the one who's confrontational. They're trying to get you to look like the one who's the problem causer instead of the problem solver. They want to paint you out to be the bad guy when this person is a whole demon and you know that so don't worry about and you know they're going to look at you you know they're going to stare at you you know once you tell them no or you know once there's an issue or you know they get their feelings hurt because these people are real insecure and childlike so once they get their feelings hurt you know they're going to be looking at you with the angry face don't let these devils use that narcissistic stare or glare to trap you in to any more negativity than you already entered into you could let them be, yo, they, they, you could let them be mad all by themselves. You could let them throw that temper tantrum all by themselves. You could let them have a negative feeling, a bad day, a bad attitude all by themselves. It ain't nothing they could do to you that you don't let happen. It ain't nothing that anybody could do to you that you don't let happen. As far as what we're, uh, uh, the topic we're discussing in this video goes, when you don't allow these people to get to you, they can't. And they're even more mad and more upset because you're not triggered. All right, people are trying to trigger you and they're trying to they're trying to get you to throw your life away. They're trying to get you to throw your life away. They're trying to get you to throw away all your progress that you've made so far. I don't care if it's if it doesn't look like it's worth anything. I don't care if it doesn't look like it amounts to anything. All right, a, a, a little bit will go a long way. All right. Slow and steady wins the race. Keep going at the pace you're going. Keep living your life the way you're living it. Keep using your mind. Keep using discernment. Keep being smart. Keep outsmarting the devil. Keep outwitting the devil. Even And to outwit outside devils, you got to outsmart and outwit the devil inside. That's how you know you're growing. You don't look at it as, OK, it's everybody else. Even when you're dealing with a bad mofo, you still got to deal with you. Even when you're dealing with difficult mofos, petty Percy's, all right, uh, uh, negative Nancy's, negative Nathan's, you still have to uh, deal with yourself first. You still got to deal with the God in you or the devil in you first. You either got to go to God in you or you have to defeat the devil in you, whichever you got to do. You are going to have to deal with you and that way you won't have to deal with them. They could be a screaming. They could be a yelling. They could be a banging. They could be a anything they want to be doing. All right. As long as you keep your cool and as long as you realize, wait a minute, I'm in control of how I react. I'm in control of how I respond. I'm in control of how I feel. These people can't get you. They're going to be sick. They are going to be sick. Literally, they're going to be sick. 
And it's like, why? Why do they try you? Because you're cool, you're laid back, you're peaceful, and they think they could get over on you. They think you're just going to lay down, and they think you're going to be scared and be in fear and do whatever they tell you to do. Or they, they, they think you're going to accept whatever treatment they have to give to you. But it's, it just doesn't work like that as a grown person. When you have been mistreated for majority of your life, when people have already treated you that way, when people have already treated you bad, it's like it's like you, you it's like you in a forest because it's like you wish them would. All right. And you from them woods, you from them. I wish them wood woods, you know, and it just it is what it is. People can say whatever they want. Oh, this, all that. OK, we're all grown now. So what's the point? I'm not even looking for no problems. I'm not even looking for no trouble. I'm looking to live my life, get my bread and and and, and, and have a good day. But they're, not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody wants to live their life and have a good day. Some people are too caught up on you, on some of us living our life and having a good day that it's so much that it interrupts theirs. They're so caught up on you having a good day so much it interrupts theirs. They can't even enjoy their life because they're so worried about you. You're like that thorn in their side that they can't get out. They, they, it's, you're like that rock in their shoe on a, on, a, on a mile run. They're trying to enjoy their run, but here you go, rocking it up all up in their shoe. Just, oh, I wish this person would get out of Dodge. I wish this person would get out the way. I wish I wouldn't have to see this person. That's how they feel about you, but too damn bad. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Shout out to the Galactic family. Each and every chosen vessel, hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Salute to the Galactic family, baby. We out. Drew Tube out.